So this question says in triangle ABC, the measure of angle B is 90 degrees and BD is an altitude of the triangle. So just given that, let me just draw this first actually. So just given what I'd assume initially at least is I'd have a triangle like this where angle B is 90 degrees, but then where would my altitude go, right? So I could still draw an altitude from B to D here, but visually that's not gonna look like an altitude. So it's probably better for me to redraw my right triangle this way, where the hypotenuse is the base. Again, so this is B and C and A. And now if I draw an altitude here, it makes it look more obvious that I have an altitude because it's drawn to the base of the right triangle. So of course, drawing an altitude means I have a 90 degree angle here. The question tells me that this is point D, right? Because BD is the altitude. And then what else do I know? So it says the length of AB is 15. So I could label that as 15. And the length of AC is 23 greater than the length of AB. Well, that means that this is 38, right? 23 plus 15 is 38. What is the value of BC over BD? All right, so BC, so this, and I'll just outline in green. So this line here in green over BD, which is, of course, our altitude, which I'll just highlight in red. All right, so two sides of a right triangle that we don't know. So what have we been given? Well, we've been given the 15 here, we've been given the 38, and we've also been given this large tr right triangle ABC, but we've also been given this small right triangle BDC, right? So I have right triangle ABC, and I have right triangle BDC. And there is a relationship between them, right? So what I like to do whenever I have superimposed shapes, triangles, squares, circles, I like to draw them separately and in the same orientation. So I'm gonna draw my triangle here, again, ABC. I'm gonna label with what I know. So I know AB is 15, and I don't know BC, but I know, I know that I wanna find that, so I'm gonna just put an X there. And I know AC is 38. Now, if I were to draw triangle BDC in the same exact orientation, it would look like this, where D is a corresponding right angle. Um, BC is the hypotenuse, so that means it will go along with AC, so B and C will go here. And for this right triangle, I don't know any of the side lengths, but, well, I could say that DC is, no, so I don't know any of the side lengths. BC, BC is the same as the BC down there, so I know this is also an X, like I have in the first right triangle. And that's really all that I know. All right, so in terms of side lengths, that's all I know. How about angles? Well, this angle C is the same for both, right? So that means that these two triangles have to be similar. And I think this is the key to answering the question. Because both triangles have the same angle C, and both triangles have the same, I'll use just different colors here, have a, also have a 90 degree angle which automatically means that A and B, so angle A, must be equal to angle B, right? which lets us know that these two triangles are similar. Um, and then we have these side lengths that must then be proportional. So BD, I can call 15X. So whenever I deal with proportionality, I like to use X. So here's the deal. BD is obviously smaller than AB. But we know that it's, co it's a corresponding side to AB because we just figured out that these two triangles are similar. So that means our X is most likely a fraction, right? So X could be a half, making BD 7.5. X can be a third, making BD equal five. Um, we don't know exactly what X is, but I do know that 15 times X, right? X being like our, our, um, our ratio, between these two similar triangles, that a 15x will go there. And then a x squared will go here. And a 
38x will go here for my BC. So the ratio the question is asking for again is BC over BD. So that will give me a 38x for my BC side over from my BD side, that'd be a 15x. So 38x over 15x means that I don't really care what x is, right? Because they just cancel out. And the ratio I'm left with is 38 over 15. So there's our answer, choice D. So not a very straightforward question, pretty complicated. But I like questions like this because it helps you to learn by doing so that the next time you see a question similar to this, you can treat it in a similar way. Again, the main key that always works for me at least is noticing superimposed shapes and then rewriting them as individual shapes in the same orientation. Very important. So we can see what's really being compared. And then once we notice what was being compared here, it was um, not too hard of a stretch to see that they're similar triangles because these angles have to be the same, right? So first of all, I went to the side lengths, as you recall, and then second of all, I went to the angles, and from there I could see that, oh, well, all the, you know, the three angles from triangle ABC are actually congruent to the three angles from triangle BDC, um, so that means they must be similar. And then, then you know, this idea of there being a, uh, I can't think of the actual word, a unit factor, a ratio factor, scale factor, that's right, so X is like my scale factor, being okay with realizing you don't have to know what that scale factor is, right? So X just represents whatever that scale factor is. So now knowing that X represents that scale factor, I just plugged it in to my side lengths to represent that the sides have to be proportional to triangle ABC. Um, and then that gets us directly to our right answer. So if you see another question like this, just recall some of those steps.